What's up guys, Jordan here with an awesome iOS tip. Now, if you're on your computer and you want to listen to a song that you don't already own, what do you do? Well, you go into YouTube, you type in the name of the song, you find that song, and then you usually go back to whatever you were previously doing, and you listen to the song in the background. Now, what do you do if you want to listen to a song on an iOS device that you don't already own. Well, you do the same exact thing. You go into YouTube app, you type in the name of the song, you find that song, you open it up, and then you go back to whatever you were previously doing on your device. But wait, the song stops. You can't listen to YouTube songs in the background on an iOS device, or can you? That's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. Now, the first thing you need to do is obviously go into YouTube and then find whatever song you want to listen to. Now, because of copyright infringement and everything, I'm just going to play one of my videos. So, how to create ringtones for your iOS devices. Turn up the volume just a little bit, and then go ahead and play it. Now, as you can see, it's playing right now. And if we hit the home button, it'll stop. Now, what do you do to make it play? Well, obviously you could open the app back up, but that would defeat the whole thing of running it in the background. What you need to do is double tap the home button and pull up your multitasking uh, menu. And if you slide one time to the right, you'll see that there isn't Pandora or the music icon right here. It's actually YouTube, and then you still have the standard controls. Now, if you hit the play button, you'll see that it actually plays in the background and then you can go about whatever you want you can change uh, the brightness you can do whatever like uh, just music is playing in the background you can even restart and pause and do whatever so that's how you get YouTube songs to run in the background on your iOS devices so uh, thanks for checking out this video I hope you liked it and I hope this is a useful tip for you um, be sure to check out some of my other great Mac and iPhone tutorials also be sure to subscribe and uh, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and I'll see you in the next one real soon thanks for watching